Hi everybody, my name is Patrick Blank and I'm the lead level designer here at Runic Games and welcome to part three of our three-part series demonstrating scripting functionality within our editor that we use to create the game Torchlight. For this uh, third video I thought I would demonstrate how we do monster jump down points and these can be used anywhere in the levels just to change up the gameplay a bit or to create traps or just to create a little bit more interesting scenario. Uh, so for this video I've expanded on the level we've used for the first two videos. So in this last section here we've got some stairs going up to a second floor courtyard surrounded by an upper balcony. And on the same floor as that balcony we have three rooms, one on the right and the left in the center. And this is where we're going to spawn our monsters and have them rush out into this open area and then jump down into the courtyard and swarm the player. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, initially I want to make sure that no creatures are spawned in this area to begin with. So we're going to add what's called a uh, no spawn region. So I'm going to create a new folder over here on the left. I'm just going to call this scripting. And then I'm going to add what's called a property node, which if you've seen the first two videos, you know that this has several functions to it. And I'm going to rename this no spawn. And on the drop down properties on the right hand side. We're going to change this from the default player start to the no spawn region. And then let's just go ahead and move this into position so we can see it. There we go. And then we're going to scale this so that it fills out the room a little bit better. And there we are. And that's set. So I'm just going to turn this to invisible for now so that we can see the room a little bit better. Now the next thing we want to do is we need a trigger to trigger off all these events. So let's go ahead and add a chest in the middle of the room on this pedestal so that when the player opens the chest it will trigger the monsters. So we're going to do that by coming back over here and adding what's called a unit trigger. I'm going to rename this chest. And in the drop down properties on the right we're going to change this to chest rare so that it really stands out in the room and change my snap values so we can raise this a bit. And there we go, there's a chest. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's create our monster spawners. And we're going to come over here and we're going to add what's called a unit spawner. We'll name this spawner1. And then again change my snap values and raise this up so that we can see it. And there it is. And let's go ahead and double the size of this. There's enough room. There we go. And let's set this so that this spawns regular skeletons. The regular skeletons are much faster than the other type of skeletons, and they'll just charge towards the player. So we'll set that, and we'll set it for 8 to spawn. And then let's see, make sure that they do target the player. And that's set. So now what we want to do is we want to just move this inside this doorway here so it's in the room and the player don't the player will not see them spawn initially. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to duplicate this. You duplicate uh, items in the editor by just holding down uh, shift and then clicking and dragging. And we're going to do that with this spawner here. Just going to move this into the other room just inside the doorway and I'm going to rename this to spawner2 and I'm going to leave the properties the same and then I'm going to duplicate this one more time and move it into the final front room and we'll rename this spawner3 and I'm going to change this one from regular skeletons to skeleton warriors just so we can mix it up a bit and uh, the pacing is a little bit different between each of the three spawners Okay. So next thing we need to do is we need to tell these monsters that they can jump down over these balconies. So we need to add another actor called a jump down area. So come back to our folder and I'm going to add another property node. I'm going to rename this jump down. And in the drop down properties I'm going to change this to a jump down area. And again I'm going to move this up so we can see it and we'll cover this balcony first. So we're just going to scale this to fit the balcony a little bit better. And then we'll move this. You want it so that uh, it covers half and half. Half the area of where they're coming from and the other half of where they're jumping down to. So then I'm going to duplicate this over to the other side. 
and then we're going to duplicate it one more time and rotate it and center it here. And then we're going to expand this one so that it overlaps a little bit. That's good. So now the creatures know that anywhere within these volumes they can jump down to the next level. So now we just need to hook all this up in our logic. So we're going to come over here and we're going to add a logic group. And this is where we do all our visual scripting. And I'm going to open this window. Here it is. And I'm going to drag this off screen just for a minute so I can drag these actors into the window. And then I'll bring it back over so you can see how we hook them up. Okay, so here's our chest actor and this is what's going to start it off. So we're going to add an output on this of output triggered. And then on each of the spawners we're going to add an input of spawn units. And you can see that it adds uh, connectors to each of these. So we're going to take the output connector from the chest and connect it to the input connector of each of the spawners. Just like that. And there we go. So now that's all hooked up. Let's go ahead and hop in game and see how this works. Okay, here we are in the lower area. So let's go up to the second floor courtyard. And there's our chest. You can see the balcony area. So let's go ahead and trigger this and see uh, how it works. And here they come. And there you go. That's how you create jump down areas for monsters. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful. And uh, be sure to check out the previous videos if you haven't seen them yet. And thanks for watching.